Dear tech enthusiasts and new energy vehicle fans, welcome to Volt China. Today, I'm going to talk about a topic that has shaken the global automotive industry. Imagine this. What if a car company dared to upgrade an already highly successful model with 500 improvements, achieving a 45% replacement rate for the entire vehicle? What does this mean? This isn't just a simple annual facelift. It's a technological revolution akin to a full model change. And that's not even the craziest part. This company claims that their side windows are more sunproof than SPF 50 plus sunscreen. Their seats have undergone 11 layers of structural optimization. And their HUD E can still display blind spot images clearly even when the windshield fogs up on a rainy day. Sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? But all of this is real. On May 25, 2025, at the world's largest urban park, Hefei Luogang Central Park, Chinese EV startup NIO unveiled the fully upgraded ET5 and ET5T. This wasn't just an upgrade for two models. It was a grand demonstration of China's automotive technological prowess to the world. Today, we're diving deep into the cutting-edge technology behind this launch to see how China's new energy vehicle makers are redefining the boundaries of automotive innovation. Trust me, after watching this breakdown, your understanding of automotive technology will be completely transformed. Let's start with the most intuitive aspect, design. But first, I want to correct a common misconception. Many people think car design is just about aesthetics. But in the era of new energy vehicles, design has become a direct reflection of technological strength. What kind of technological breakthroughs does NIO's design for the new ET5 and ET5T showcase? First, there's the revolution in aerodynamics. The newly designed 20-inch 5-spoke wheels aren't just for looks. They feature an insert design to optimize drag performance. In the world of new energy vehicles, reducing drag coefficient by just 0.01 can add tens of kilometers to the range. That's why leading companies like Tesla and BYD invest heavily in aerodynamics. Even more noteworthy is their ADB Intelligent Multi-Beam Headlight Technology. While this technology is already quite mature in European markets, its application in China has long been restricted by regulations. NIO's ability to implement it in their new models indicates that Chinese automotive regulations are aligning with international standards, a positive signal for the entire industry. In terms of color technology, NIO has showcased advancements in material science within China's automotive industry. Their new Far Sky Purple Paint, inspired by the sunset skyline of Santorini, Greece, features a gradient effect from dark purple to light pink. Achieving this requires an extremely complex multi-layer painting process. This isn't just about aesthetic pursuit. It's also a testament to China's capabilities in high-end manufacturing. If exterior design demonstrates NIO's aesthetic prowess, then the upgrades in cabin technology fully showcase the leading edge of Chinese tech companies in smart innovation. The most jaw-dropping feature is the innovation in their horizontal screen design. The 15.6-inch rectangular rounded screen, with a thickness of just 5.5 mm at its thinnest point, and a screen-to-body ratio of 91%, is even larger than the latest iPad Pro. But the technical highlight isn't just the size. It's the industry-first, physical, large rounded corner cutting technology. This technology may sound simple, but it's extremely complex. Achieving a perfect match between the physical rounded corners of the screen and the UI interface requires breakthroughs in both hardware manufacturing and software algorithms. This deep integration of hardware and software is precisely the core competitive advantage of Chinese tech companies. What impressed me even more is their 3K resolution dual layer OLED technology. Dual layer OLED isn't just about stacking two screens. It uses different layers of light modulation to achieve deeper blacks and brighter whites. Previously, this technology was mainly used in high-end TVs. NIO's ability to apply it to cars demonstrates China's world-leading capability in supply chain integration. In terms of audio systems, NIO showcased their deep expertise in acoustic engineering. Their 7.1.4 immersive sound system, which NIO claims is the first of its kind globally to be introduced in a car, features 23 speakers. The power of the front door base units has doubled from 30 watts to 60 watts, and the ultra-low frequency subwoofer 
has been upgraded from 6 inches to 8 inches, increasing the radiation area by 78%. What do these numbers mean? They show that NIO isn't just piling on hardware, but has also done extensive optimization work in acoustic algorithms. Keep in mind that the acoustic environment inside a car is far more complex than at home. Road noise, wind noise, and engine noise all affect sound quality. Achieving high-quality audio in such an environment requires powerful DSP digital signal processing capabilities. Now let's talk about a technological breakthrough that excites me personally. HUD heads-up display upgrades. NIO's new models come standard with a full HD 18.8-inch W HUD, a top-tier configuration globally. But more importantly, they've achieved real-time blind spot image display on the HUD. How advanced is this feature? Let me explain. Traditional HUDs mainly display information like speed and navigation. To display blind spot images on the HUD, several technical challenges must be overcome. First, there's the latency issue. The delay between capturing the image with the camera and displaying it on the HUD must be controlled at the millisecond level. Otherwise, the image won't sync properly. Second, there's the computational power issue. To ensure clear display, even when the windshield is fogged up or covered in rain, powerful image processing algorithms are required. This is where NIO's Shenzi 9031 chip's ISP image signal processor capabilities come into play. Third, there's the optical design issue. The HUD's imaging principle relies on reflections off the windshield. To ensure clear visibility under various lighting conditions, extremely precise optical design is needed. NIO's ability to achieve this feature demonstrates that China's automotive chip design capabilities have reached world-class levels. Keep in mind that high-performance automotive chips have long been a technological advantage of developed Western countries. So this breakthrough by Chinese companies is highly significant. Now let's discuss a seemingly simple, yet highly technical breakthrough. UV protection and heat insulation. NIO claims that their side windows provide better sun protection than SPF 50 plus sunscreen. While this might sound like a marketing gimmick, it's actually based on advanced material science. They've embedded an independent infrared blocking layer between the double layered glass, essentially sandwiching a high definition heat insulating film inside the glass. The challenge here lies in maximizing infrared blocking while maintaining high transparency. Traditional automotive glass mainly focuses on transparency and safety, often compromising on infrared blocking. NIO's technology increases infrared blocking efficiency to over 90% while maintaining excellent transparency, a significant advancement in material science. More importantly, this technology has broad applications. During hot summers, the temperature inside a car can be 10 to 15 degrees Celsius higher than outside. The traditional solution is to increase air conditioning power, which significantly increases energy consumption and reduces range. Using material technology to solve this problem showcases the maturity of China's automotive industry in systemic thinking. According to NIO's experiments, under conditions where the car is parked without air conditioning for 75 minutes, the armrest temperature of the new model's side windows is 5 degrees Celsius lower than that of ordinary glass. This 5 degree difference represents a qualitative leap in user experience. Next, let's talk about a field that might seem simple, but actually involves high technical complexity, seat engineering. NIO has introduced the concept of soft to sit in, comfortable to sit on for long periods. To achieve this, they've implemented an 11-layer seat support structure. This isn't just about piling on materials. It's a precisely designed system based on ergonomics. They've added a 20mm high-resilience foam layer and a first-of-its-kind NIO AIR foam composite layer. This combination is being applied in the automotive industry for the first time. The high-resilience foam provides initial softness, while the NIO AIR foam ensures long-term support. The density and thickness of these layers require precise calculations. What's even more impressive is their pressure distribution testing. Compared to luxury cars in the same class, NIO seats clearly excel in pressure distribution. Continuous support from the hips to the knees effectively reduces the sensation of leg suspension. This design philosophy is often seen in airline seats 
and high-end office chairs, but is still rare in automotive seats. Seat ventilation, heating, and massage functions have also been significantly improved. Massage coverage increased by 57%, lift height increased by 30%, ventilation efficiency improved by 90%, and heating coverage increased by 31%. These numbers reflect progress in precision manufacturing and control systems within China's automotive industry. Now let's talk about the foundation of a car, chassis technology. This is the core technology that determines a vehicle's driving feel and has long been a stronghold of traditional automotive powerhouses. NIO has made 29 hardware upgrades to the suspension system of the new ET5 and ET5T, an astonishing number. Keep in mind that suspension systems have undergone decades of optimization, so making 29 upgrades on top of that requires a deep understanding of the entire system. The most noteworthy feature is the standard CDC Dynamic Suspension Damping Control System. This system can make 500 adjustments per second based on road feedback. How is this adjustment frequency technically achieved? First, high-precision sensors are needed to monitor road conditions in real time. Then, powerful computing capabilities are required to process this data, followed by precise actuators to adjust damping. The entire process must be completed within milliseconds, requiring extremely high system responsiveness. Even more impressive is the 4D Full Domain Comfort Navigation feature. The vehicle can use cloud-based 4D road condition layers to predict road bumps and adjust chassis parameters in advance. This predictive control strategy relies on robust cloud computing capabilities and real-time communication technology. NIO's flying bump test video effectively demonstrates the system's performance. At a speed of 85 km per hour over a bumpy section, the new ET5T's body posture control clearly outperforms competitor models, as evident in slow motion playback. For driving enthusiasts, NIO's EP Mode upgrade is a pleasant surprise. EP Mode isn't just a simple sports mode, it's a complete ecosystem for driving pleasure. Features like immersive EP light curtain ambient lighting, mechanical EP motor sound effects, and launch control reflect NIO's thoughtful approach to user experience design. One particularly noteworthy feature is the adjustability of the suspension. The front and rear axle suspension damping can be adjusted with 11 levels of extension and rebound damping, offering over 1,000 combinations. This level of customization is unimaginable in traditional cars and requires robust software algorithm support. The addition of a mountain driving mode further demonstrates NIO's deep understanding of Chinese car culture. One click route planning, team driving, and real-time intercom features require the integration of technologies across navigation, communication, and vehicle networking. After seeing all these technological upgrades, we can't help but ask a deeper question. Why is NIO able to achieve breakthroughs in so many technical fields simultaneously? The answer lies in the maturity of China's new energy vehicle supply chain. From chip design to material science, from software algorithms to precision manufacturing, China has built a relatively complete industry ecosystem. Take NIO's Shenzhou 9031 chip as an example. This chip supports HUD blind spot image display, showcasing China's progress in automotive chip design. The application of dual layer OLED screens highlights China's advantages in the display technology supply chain. More importantly, Chinese new energy vehicle companies generally adopt the concept of software defined vehicles allowing them to continuously optimize user experiences through software updates. This model would have been unimaginable in the era of traditional cars. From a global competition perspective, the performance of the NIO ET5T in the high-end new energy wagon market is remarkable. Becoming the global leader in this segment reflects several key factors. First is the enormous scale advantage of the Chinese automotive market. As the world's largest automotive market, and the fastest growing market for new energy vehicles, China provides unparalleled opportunities for its car makers. Second is China's forward-looking layout in the new energy vehicle technology roadmap. While Europe and the US were still debating hybrid technology, China decisively chose pure electric, laying the foundation for today's technological leadership. Third is the advantage of Chinese tech companies in software and intelligence. Giants like Huawei, Tencent, and Alibaba 
have brought entirely new technological thinking to the automotive industry. After watching NIO's launch event, we can't help but wonder, where does China's new energy vehicle technology stand now, and where is it headed? From a technological perspective, China's new energy vehicles are already globally leading in intelligence and connectivity. However, there's still room for improvement in foundational areas like high-end chips and precision manufacturing. From a market perspective, the overseas expansion of Chinese new energy vehicles has just begun. Brands like NIO need to focus more on brand building, service networks, and localization to establish a strong foothold in global markets. From an industry perspective, China's new energy vehicle supply chain is already highly developed, but there's still work to be done in key areas like high-end materials and precision equipment. Today, we've taken a deep dive into the technological innovations behind the 500 upgrades of NIO's new ET5ET5T. From design aesthetics to material science, from intelligent cockpits to chassis engineering, every detail reflects the progress of China's automotive industry. But this is just one snapshot of the technological revolution in China's new energy vehicle sector. At Volt China, we'll continue to follow and analyze the latest developments in Chinese tech innovation. Now, I want to ask you, which of NIO's showcase technologies impressed you the most? Was it the 4D intelligent chassis that can predict road bumps or the sunproof glass that's even better than sunscreen? More importantly, where do you think the next technological breakthrough in China's new energy vehicle industry will come from? Autonomous driving? Solid state batteries? Or perhaps a completely new innovation we haven't thought of yet? Please share your thoughts in the comment section. Let's discuss the future direction of Chinese tech innovation together. If you enjoyed today's content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't miss the latest updates from Volt China.